everybody, my name's Casey. Welcome to Mackay Base Hospital. Mackay is an hour and a half flight from Brisbane, an 11 hour drive. Or if you really a bit twist, a 193 hour walk. Oh. I come to the Mackay Hospital for my checkups, and there's lots of friendly doctors and nurses here. I'm really excited to be on Juice TV. So let's get to know our host with the most. Here she is now. Hello! I got two little puppies at home. Their names are Tilly and Teddy, and they're cute little beagles. I also have three fish, and their names are Blackie, Whitey, and Goldie. And I can't forget my little sea snail, Tilly. My favourite thing to do on the weekend is ride my bike with my friends and play soccer. My best friends are TJ, Asti, Raina and Hayley. I love hanging out with them because they make me really happy. I'll sell all types of animals and my shop will be called Casey's Awesome Pet Shop. My super pet will be running really fast and flying in the sky. I get a trophy at the end of the season of basketball, but when I move up to under 10s, only one team will get it. Now it's time to look at our first story. Oh, 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 oh. oh hello! Yeah. <laughs> hey, we need that! Red alert in the children's ward. All right, show me what we got. Hey, it's not that possum again, is it? Even weirder, there's a little gnome with an extremely precious item requiring security escort. There's no time to lose. Brucey, quick, hold down the fort. You betcha. This is Paul from the Mackay Hospital Foundation, CPT Unit 1 in transit. <laughs> All right, boys, head down to level one. Brucey, we've got a T intersection coming up. Is it left or is it right? Uh, I think you want to take a left. No way, it's right. Thanks, Brucey. Oh. Thanks, Paul. Hi, everyone. My name's Nate. Welcome to the Children's Ward at Mackay Base Hospital. To pass the time while I've been here, I've been playing with my new Hot Wheels. The security guards gave this to me. Thanks very much, guys. There's a really cool playground at the kids' ward too. Some juice boxes to watch Juice TV and lots of friendly faces. When I'm not in hospital, I like to do martial arts. I do Kung Fu and Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. I love it because I learn lots, have lots of fun and make new friends. And check this out. I have two silly boxes at home named Maggie and Otto. They're pretty clumsy dogs, but sometimes they're naughty and they jump on the couch. Something else is what is special is this blanket what I got from my auntie. She made this herself. It's made out of crochet. It's like having a piece of home with me all the time. Before I go, I have three YouTubers you should check out. Number one is Mr Beast because he helps people out a lot. Number two is Dream because he has cool Minecraft videos. 
And the third and final one is Ninja Kid because they do awesome flips. Thanks for hanging out guys. See ya, wouldn't wanna be ya. Hi, this is Kay from Muscle Garden. I'm here today to show you some exercises you can do while you're in hospital, no matter your ability. Let's go. So lesson number one is a basic exercise called in and out using our feet to get our heart rate up. You ready? Let's do this. Start off nice and slow. Out, out, in, in. Then we increase the speed gradually and then faster. All right? So when you're in the hospital, you may not have this hexagon, but you may have a square tile in your hospital bedroom. So try and use the shape of the tile to get your feet moving out and in. You might be in a hospital bed and unable to move your legs, but that's okay because lesson two is just for you. This is the chest press, and for this exercise, you can use some water bottles, uh, an iPad, uh, a laptop, but for today, I've got some books. Let's do the chest press. So you wanna lie back on your bed, make sure your back is nice and flat, Rest your elbows on your bed, and what you want to do, push all the way up, right here, come back down, and up again, and down. So while you're doing this exercise, there are three major muscles that you're going to be working here. So your pectoral, so your chest muscles, your anterior delts, so the front of your shoulders, and your triceps. There are other muscles engaged, but these are the three main ones you'll be working. Another great exercise you can do is the shoulder press. So to do this exercise, what you want to do is to bring your back rest up so you have something to lean against. And then we're just going to go from here, straight up, come down right over your shoulders, and back up. So one, two, and three. For lesson three, we're going to do some leg raises. The great thing about doing leg raises is you get to work your leg muscles as well as your abdominal muscles. So let's go. We're going to start off nice and simple with one leg at a time. One, two, three. And if you want to challenge yourself a little bit more, go two legs at a time. One, two, three, four, and five. You can also hang on to the sides of the bed if you need to. You can bring up your backrest if you need to to make it a little bit comfortable for yourself. And those are three great lessons that you can do while you're in hospital. But something that I like to do at the end of each workout, which feels really good, is to do some scratches. So today, we're gonna to scratch our upper body and our lower body at the same time. Push the arms out. Up over your head. The right hand side. Back in the middle. All the way down to the ground. Scratch your hamstrings. Back up. Scratch your quads. If you need to hang on to your hospital bed, you can. So there you go, three great lessons and some scratches at the end to help you feel great while you're in hospital. And the thing that I want you to remember is that we wanna make sure exercise is fun for you. So here are three tips that you can use to make sure you're having fun. Number one, get your best music on, get your playlist going. Number two, you can get your friends and family involved. And three, if you have the chance, definitely get outside into the hospital garden and do some fun activities. This is Kay from Muscle Garden. It's been great hanging out with you. See you later, bye-bye. Hi, I'm Amy and this is my beautiful daughter, Juliet. Say hello. Juliet uses a special way to communicate called Auslan. What's something that makes you really happy? Are you thinking? Juliet loves her sister, Lily. What else, Juliet? Brother? Daddy. What else do you like? Music. Yeah. yeah. And Cat in the Hat. <laughs> <laughs> and ECDP. 
There's lots of lovely doctors and nurses here, Juliet, isn't there? What would you like to say to the doctors and the nurses? Thank you. Good girl. Hi everyone, my name's Vi and today I'm here at Cape Hillsborough with all my hospital friends and family. It's a beautiful area by the beach right here in Mackay. Here you can experience some of the most amazing animals in Australia, our kangaroos and wallabies. It's all made possible by a wonderful man named Murray. He's a wildlife carer. Well, thank you so much, Murray, for having a, us here at Cape Hillsborough today. You're more than welcome. The more people we get coming and look at our lovely animals, the happier we are. And it's really great to have you here today. Thank you. So how long have you been a park ranger for? I've been on the beach for five years looking after the animals. But my wife and I have been wildlife carers for 35 years and we raise and release orphan and injured animals at home as well. Wow, what an amazing job. Yes, it is. It's really good. Very rewarding at times and disappointing sometimes. What does the kangaroos and wallabies eat, Murray? We do put out a special pallet for them on the beach just to keep them nice and healthy and also for a bit of crowd control as well to keep them safe. But actually what they come to the beach for is the mangrove seed pod. And the reason they come for the mangrove seed pod is because it's very, very high in minerals. And unfortunately our local grass doesn't have enough mineral content. So they're actually supplementing their diets on the beach by coming to the beach and eating the mangrove seed pods. How do they sleep? They can actually sleep in two positions. They can actually sleep when they're sitting down and you see them put their paws on the ground and you'll see their head nod off a little bit. And sometimes they lie right down on the sand or on the grass and go to sleep that way. Usually their heads are up a little bit because they like to be able to hear with their ears when they're even when they're asleep because that's how they protect themselves. Hey Murray, do you know how fast kangaroos run? Yes, they can run up to 60 kilometres an hour, which is about the same speed we drive our cars around town. And they, in addition to that, they can actually run for 30 kilometres without stopping. Not at 60 kilometres an hour, but certainly they can run that far. Wow, that is really fast. Well, Murray, after all this amazing information we've gotten, I just have one question. How do you tell a wallaby from a kangaroo? OK, the markings are the easiest way to tell them apart. The wallabies have a white stripe on their face and a white stripe on their hip, whereas the kangaroos are just all grey. Do wallabies and kangaroos travel in families or packs? They travel in packs. The wallabies um, usually are up to around about 60 in a group, but the kangaroos are quite happy if there's four or six of them. And the reason they travel in, uh, in groups like that is because of the food sources and they both eat the same type of food so they will be seen together quite often. So there are some big kangaroos and small kangaroos and small wallabies and big wallabies. How old can they live up to? Well, the average age of a kangaroo and a wallaby in the wild is about 16 years old. But here at Cape Hillsborough, because they're fairly well protected, we do have one lady that's lived up to 22 years old, which is very remarkable. So how well do you know the kangaroos on the beach, Murray? I know them pretty well because I've been coming down to the beach with them for about five years and the four kangaroos we know really well because they're very friendly and there's about five of the wallabies we actually named as they've grown up so we know about nine or ten of them by name and the other ones come and go at different times. And what are their names? Well the kangaroos is Emmylou is our oldest kangaroo and then we've got Molly and then we've got Lindsay and Ray who are the two younger kangaroos. And with the wallabies we've got Wally who is the alpha male and responsible for looking after the safety of all the other wallabies. And then we've got Friendly and about four others that come and go that we know their names as well. Mm -hmm. 
So the wallabies and kangaroos start coming down to the beach before it's even daylight because that's their normal feeding time is from sunrise through for about an hour after sunrise. You'll see the meeting during the day but I'd like to know what time you guys got up this morning. Well we got up at four o'clock and it was really cold and dark but it was all worth it seeing those amazing kangaroos and wallabies. Thanks for having us today Murray. It was a really special day. You're more than welcome and I hope you'll come and see our animals again one day. See you later. later.